What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary, and we are back here for another rebuild. And the last one that we actually did was with the Chicago Bulls. That one kind of went off track. We started to get a little bit unrealistic, but for this one, we're going to keep it as realistic as possible. So if you guys enjoy them, make sure you go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Let's get 100 likes for another one. And obviously, we got the Sacramento Kings. The biggest move so far is that they picked up Luke Walton. We're going to see how that actually works in the future. Um, but yo, they got a nice team. I mean, De'Aaron Fox showed a lot of improvement. So did Buddy Hill. They got Bagley Seal, Willie Colley Stein, Harrison Barnes. This ain't a bad team. As a matter of fact, this is the team that might be able to compete in the next few years. Now, unlike some of the other ones, we don't got our draft pick this season. The Celtics got it. But we're going to see what we can do. Obviously, Sacramento is not a hot free agency destination. So we're really just going to have to bank on those three guys and, you know, Heald, Fox, and, you know, Bagley developing and really add some veterans to this team. But, you know, in the end, we might be able to bring a championship to Sacramento. It's just going to take a lot of work. Now, let's see. All right, so they got Portland in the conference finals. I mean, Golden State probably wins the, the entire thing, though, right? Right? I was about to say, yeah. All right, well... At this point, we know exactly how this is going to go. They won the championship. Let's get straight into the offseason, though. Because we got we to gotta make some moves. Do we even have a draft pick? I'm not even sure, like, in case we got, like, a late one or something. I know that we don't got our lottery pick, though. You got anything? We got some second-round picks. Maybe we can work with that. All right, but uh, the staff. All that matters is that we got to get a trainer. Like, the best one available. That's all that really matters here. All right, in case we can't get him, we can go after this dude. All right, I think we're good. Let's just get straight into the draft, and let's see what we can walk away with. All right, first off, I do want to... Who can we trade here? No, like, I don't feel like anybody would really be on the block for this team. So we, we might as well go to our draft pick. All right, the best player available here... Jalen LeKay, we're not getting another guard. That'd be pointless, but we can get Charles Bassey. I'm, I am going to go ahead and do that. Uh, next up, we're probably going to put him in the G League, but the fact that he's there, I'm down with. Jalen Le uh, I still don't... We don't need an, an, another point guard on this team. That's like the only thing. Hey, we really don't need that. Um, Jalen Hands, that's interesting. Chris Wilkes. I'm bound to take a small forward. And with this last pick, let's see. Um, Let's just see if we actually made the right draft picks. Yeah, let's sign all of them. I mean, we're going to give them time to develop. It's not, like, it's not like we're expecting to win a championship right now. Harrison Barnes, he obviously accepts his. We'll bring back Frank Mason and Yogi Ferrell. Probably going to trade them, not going to lie. Qualifying government to Willie Colley Stein. I, I want to bring him back. And free agency. Obviously, none of these guys are, are coming here. None of them. Uh, we could obviously... Let's see. I would be willing to offer Julius Randle if he wants to come here. But I, I don't think that he'd really even want to. I mean, I kind of like what we got going on right now. All right. But small forward is definitely a position of weakness for us. All right. Let's see. Let's go after, honestly, let's just get veterans. If, if these guys can learn how to win, we might be able to pull something off in the end. All right, and after day one, I don't want to renounce Willie. Oh, don't even want Terrence Ross, to be honest. Hold on. Um, yeah, we can renounce those guys for sure, though. Who was I looking at? Could bring back <laughs> Boogie, but yeah, I, I lead out that he, he didn't want to come here. Fine. Let's just hop in a, in, in a training camp because, I mean, 2K kind of messed that up. I literally gave him a new contract, and it's like it would not let me actually honor it. All right, but training camp. Let's see what we got going. All right, so perimeter shooting for De'Aaron Fox. That's the only part of his game I think that really needs to be worked on. Um, Basketball 101. Let's give that to Bagley. And that's the only training camp that we got. All right, come on. All right, so heading into the season, this is the lineup. It's going to be Fox, Heald, Barnes, Bagley, and Giles. I'm going to show you Reddick, Morris, Bogdan, Bogdanovich, Valencia, 
and a whole lot of L's, I'm not going to lie, but what I am going to be doing is this thing will, you know, stop loading. All right, this is what we're going to do. Porter, G League, Bassey, G League, and player mentorships. We're, gonna, we're actually going to utilize that. Honestly, I want him to be more clutch. Like, that would help a lot more. But he healed. I mean, I don't know. Let's just see what, what this team can do. It's going to be fun to watch. I mean, we're going to be a bad team no matter what. But with a team like this, there's still a chance that we can make the play. Oh, KCP? What's that guard play looking like? Oh, I, I, I think we're solid there. I, I, I think we're decent there. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool on that. Let's just see how, how this team does after year number one. So far, we haven't, we, we haven't really made a lot of moves, to be honest. Like, we haven't really made a lot of moves. We're not running an 11-minute rotation. The bench doesn't need to be playing like that. But, yeah, we're not really... We're not, we, we didn't really make a lot of changes to this team, but if the team was that close to making the playoffs last season, they only got better. So, let's see what they can do this year. And if they don't do anything, then, we're, then we can actually start to make some trades. And at the end of season number one, Steph Curry wins the MVP, averaging nearly 40 points a game. Zion's Rookie of the Year. Wiggins, six, <laughs> six man of the year. Uh, we did get most improved with Marvin Bagley the third, though. It's nearly 17 points, 10 rebounds, almost three blocks. All right, not, not bad. We do still suck, though. So we definitely got to work on that. I think we even lost more games than we did uh, the first year. But, hey, man, we're going to be good. <laughs> Let's just see. Do we at least do we at least got our draft pick? I really hope that we do. We got our draft pick, man. We got mad options here. Maybe Anthony Edwards, you know, uh, Lamelo at shooting guard, him or Hampton at shooting guard. That should be fun. All right, so let's let's do this. Or we can just trade that pick, which is probably what I end up doing. Uh, is trading that pick because I feel like a team in our position that's probably the best thing for us to do. We're letting points by Bagley. These are the rest of the numbers. But, yeah, let's get straight into the second offseason because now I'm looking to make some trades. And uh, as I was saying before, that number one overall pick is cool, but I ain't trying to develop another player. I'm trying to win right now. So if we can trade that and get a good player, like a player worth the number one overall pick, I'm going to do it. A Wizards Nuggets Finals. Wow. <laughs> That's never going to happen. All right, but let's get straight into it. All right, so draft lottery. Do not play us. We walk away with the number one overall pick. I like it. I like it. Luke Walden, we'll let you live for right now. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll we'll let you live for, for right now though. We're not really sure about you. I might have to give you the uh, same treatment uh, as the Suns coach. One year and out. I don't know yet. All right, there we go. Who do they project us to even be getting? I know last time, yeah, Anthony Edwards. Can he help us, though? Because I really don't want to pay Buddy Heald. Like, we're going to have to really see about that. But let's see. And we got mad second-round picks. Zach Levine is not worth the number one overall pick. A lot of these guys. Louis, what type of nonsense is this? The third pick? No. No. Kemba Walker? Nah. That's an L. The second pick in Brooke Lopez? DeMar. <laughs> Y'all are funny for that one, though. All right. Brooke Lopez, who else are you guys trying to throw in? I mean, if you guys were throwing in Kate Karras, I'd be willing to do it. You guys want to throw in uh, Kevin Porter and a pick? I don't really want Brooke Lopez. No? All right. Uh, the number one overall pick in JJ Reddick. Comedians. Comedians. <laughs> yeah, these are all pretty bad. The second pick at Dimwitty, nah, nah. Yeah, these are all pretty trash. Let's, we are better off just hopping into the draft, to be honest. All right, let's see. We are on the clock. All right, Anthony Edwards, 81 overall, All-NBA. He can shoot. Yeah, we're going we gonna to take him. <laughs> we're going to take him. Is he actually an 81? All right, he's an 80 overall. That's not that bad, then. I can definitely live with that. And who went right after him? All right, so we have the best player in the draft other than Wiseman. So I think we still did really, really good with that. 
Next up, Trey Jones would, would be fun to take. He's a defensive point guard. Onyeka. Um, let's take Trey Jones for right now. Next pick. I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know who any of these people people are, except for Cassius Winston. And at this point, y'all can just go ahead and, and just do it. Do it for me. It's really whatever. All right, there we go. Rookie signings. We're going to be signing Edwards. We're going to sign Trey Jones. Moses Brown as well. The rest of y'all can, you know, walk. Uh, player options. We're going to be bringing back everybody because they still got trade value. Bassey's now a 78. Porter's now a 73. We can use that to our, our advantage. They're going to be playing backup for us. Restrict. Yeah, we're going to restrict healed. Frank Mason can do whatever he wants. I don't really care. All right, but let's see what we got, man. This is the worst free agency class. Like, there's nobody good here. We can try to go after Pascal Siakam and, and offer him a bag and hope that they don't match it. They're, they're probably going to match that, to be honest. All right, but let's see, man. Al Horford, on a one-year deal, I'm all for it. Yeah, on a one-year deal, I'll definitely do it. Same thing with Montrez Harrell. I'm cool with all of those. They're going to match Siakam, so there's no point in us really doing that. Yeah, with Siakam, they're going to probably match that, right? Hold on. Hold on. Then they they're not matching that? <laughs> they're not matching that? All right, if well, if they're not matching it then I'd I'd rather have him. <laughs> like that's that's common sense, right? Why wouldn't it let me? What's going on? What? All right, so it's like not letting me get Pascal Siakam. But let's me do that. I would much rather have Pascal Siakam than Al Horford's ass. Like, no, Al can go. Let me get Siakam. You guys would not let me sign him. You guys are just trying to play me. Oh, who wants him, bro? Whoever wants him, I, I, I just let you have him, to be honest. If you got the cap room. Wait, how much money do we even have? Let's see. Let me let me check something out. How much money are we down to even get Siakam? Seventeen million away. Oh, we 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 can pick that up. We can pick that up easily. Let's get these boys up out of here. Yeah, they'll never give us John Collins. But you guys do want to give us that pick? I'm down. Let's see if we can still get Pascal Siakam. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Let's freaking go. I like this lineup, man. So what I'm probably going to be doing is, all right, we're probably going to be running Bagley at, at center. But a lineup where, all right, all right, so it's going to be Fox, Edwards. I play heel there, Bagley, or Siakam, and, and then Bagley. I like this team, though. And now we can actually make a few moves. I like Buddy Hill. We're going to try to keep him. Let's try to move on from a couple of these guys. Or, actually not. Let me keep Bassie. Let me try to trade Giles, to be real. I'll even throw in... Porter. Come on, you guys ought to give me something. 
This ain't that's not bad. It's not it's not good either though. But it's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, it is it's better than absolutely nothing. You guys wanna give me care of the works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. Tell us what you guys got. Any border? Alright, yeah. So you guys have been taking drugs. Let's do that. Alright. And we still got a lot of centers though. Alright. Who's a good backup point guard? Tony Parker. Like to pick him up. We're good. We're good everywhere else, to be honest. Let's see something. Lonzo Trier. Get Tony. Trier sign with Utah. I don't want JR. Each one more. If this thing will hurry up. Look, that's not that bad. The way that this team is set up, we actually could compete for a championship. I'm still going to try to try. I'm still going to try and move Al Horford if possible. If somebody would, would take him, no one really wants him. I mean, I could get Montrezl Harrell for him. Could get Drummond for him. Hmm. That's interesting. What was the Pistons' record? What were what was their record last season? They barely made the playoffs again. Look, I'm I'm not gonna say anything, but I think if they if they still can are doing that, they might as well be willing to move on from him. And he has three more years left on his contract. This is a one year deal. This saves them a bunch of cap room. And I'll even throw in like a few second round picks. Because at this point, oh, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Because at this point, like, they're probably just trying to get rid of him. So, yeah, let's try that out, man. We got so many big men. I'm probably going to run Siakam off the bench. Yeah, because I'm definitely going to be starting Bagley. So, we'll probably run Siakam off the bench and just see what we can actually do. Because, I mean, if Fox continues to develop and so does Bagley, that's definitely the future. We just got to worry about a small forward. Maybe... Maybe us getting Drummond was not, like, really a bad thing. Maybe I can try this out. Or, hold on. Let me wait until the training camps. All right, do what you want right there. What if, like, if we, can, can, can we find a, a legitimate starting small forward? Because that would be just Brandon Ingram. I'm not, imagine trading Drummond for, like, B.I. That's, that's not a good trade. All right, let me let me think about this because we got we also picked up a lot of draft picks as well. So, what small forwards are, are out there that are potential like players that we could pick up? None of these guys are really that good. All right, what if I move Edwards to small forward? This this is overall I go up. Right now he's an eighty. All right, so it'll be about the exact same. Yeah, let's just go ahead and let's do that instead then. Because, I mean, he was the number one overall pick. So we might as well go ahead and use that to our advantage. Or actually, we can just see what he's worth, to be honest. What's he worth out there? Jimmy Butler? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to throw in more. Donovan Mitchell. Look, I'm willing to I'm willing to test this team out. I'm definitely going to be starting Bagley, though. Bagley's definitely going to be starting. He has, he has, more, he has more potential. I'm definitely going to use that to my advantage. Like, of course. Let's get that man's range right, though. And let's also, De'Aaron Fox. What does he need to work on? Combo guard. Let's do that. So this is going to be our lineup. It's going to be De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald, Anthony Edwards, Bagley, and Drummond. Off the match, we're going to have Siakam, Luke Kennard, Kirkus, Tony Parker, Bassey. Let's just try out this team. I really want to see what this team can actually do. Uh, it's definitely still a work in progress. So maybe we're good. Maybe we're not. It says that we're contending now. So 
I mean, the expectations are pretty high, but let's just see what we can actually do in. Hold on. Before I do anything else, let's do this. Um, mentorship. De'Aaron Fox. Where's he at? Where's he at? Tony Parker. Championship DNA. Learn all of that. Learn all of that. We're trying to win a chip right now. And at the end of this season, Curry wins another MVP. We do get Rookie of the Year with Anthony Edwards, averaging nearly 17 points a game and shooting 41% from the three, 52% from the field. Hampton, sixth man of the year. And that's all that we really got. I mean, we're, we're like a decent team now. I still think that it's going to take more. That probably means we're going to fire Luke Walton, to be honest. Um, but we're just going to have to go ahead and see how that whole thing goes. I mean, this year, we, we were the seventh seed. So, I mean, that's progress. Let's see if we can take down Minnesota and upset them, possibly. Let's see what we got. All right, we're, we're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. Come on, y'all. Bruh, come on. We almost... We were up 3-1. Let's just pull off the upset and get these guys up out of here. There we go. Not too much, bro. At least we pulled off one upset. All right, we're up 2-0 against the Jazz. We're up 3-0 against the Jazz. How do we sweep the third seed? Okay, that's fine. We make the NBA Finals with the seventh seed against Denver. I think that we got more star power than, than, than Denver, to be honest. Well, at least more depth. They got Jokic, though. All right, I don't like this. Come on. Let's hop into SimCast. If we make the NBA Finals with this team, I think we've accomplished enough. <laughs> All right, we win a game. All right, come on, y'all. We might be able to win with this team, which I was really not planning for, but, hey, if we can pull it off, I'm down with it. Dang. That close? All right, we're down 3-1. Let's see if we can make them blow a 3-1 lead. And we take on Chicago, which I think we can beat them for sure. Come on, you guys. We need to force a game seven right now. What a comeback. Run away. Let's go. We need to force a game seven, man. Come on, y'all. Do not choke this lead. I don't want to have to hop in the game. All right, we finally get a W and we force game seven. Edwards is 27 points. That's what I'm talking about. Game seven. We, we can beat these dudes. We definitely can. Please do not choke this away. You're right there. Let's, why couldn't we? So we make them blow a 3-1 lead. Edwards goes off in the final two games. He had 27. Now he had 26. Why couldn't they do this before? I don't know, but we're taking on Chicago now. Who they got? Who they got? Jaw, Zach Levine, Otto Porter. They got Jaw. That's nice. We take game one. We take game two. My G. Why couldn't we do this before? This is why I, I, I always knew if we, if we made the finals, we can beat the Bulls. Like, we can beat them. I mean, there's a minute left. Tied up 112 to 112. Look, if we win this, we got to give the MVP to the rookie. Edwards is freaking killing it, and that's without a doubt. Like, I knew that we would eventually make the NBA Finals, but winning a championship this fast, I could not even have seen that coming. Starters are not in. They they want Luke Kennard in. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. I'm trying to win. We're not putting... All right, Luke, 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 Luke. What are these lineups, man? <laughs> what, are, what are these lineups, dog? We're not, we're not pulling up with Luke... Canard, bro. Put in Edwards. Put in put in the people that I, I, I want to see out there. All right. Fox got 18 points. You know, Fox been doing his thing as well. Like, our team, it's like we don't got a superstar. We just got players who know their role. And that's what I, that, that's what I want to have. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I should have just taken the shot. I should have just I should have just taken it. I should have just taken the, the shot with De'Aaron. We, we had it. We had it. I just had to kick it out for an ill-advised three. He said, guys, the whole season comes but we just can't let them score, to be honest. I, I don't want another game. I want to sweep these guys. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Let's get that board. Nobody's getting the board? Awesome. Three-point play now. We why, How could we not get the rebound, bro? How could we not get the rebound there? Yo, you guys are pissing me off. And I need you guys to hurry this thing up, too. Let's go. Bro, what the? 
Yo, Bagley, I'm telling you, Bagley never gets the rebounds. Shit is ridiculous, bro, and that's game. Like, Bagley never gets rebounds at all. Like, he just stands there. Shit is annoying. Oh, nice freaking screen, bro. Don't know what that shit was. Well, that was fun. We lose by three points. Awesome. So the sweep is off the table. Maybe we can just finish them right now. Come on, bro. Bagley, he don't even jump for it. It's nothing. <laughs> it's just, it's just turn and look. We cannot blow a 3-0 lead. Come on, y'all. Let's win at home now. We're at home. Perfect place to win, right? Perfect place to win. Two-point game. Let's please have a good substitution. Please have a good lineup in right now. Like, I, I, I don't want to see Pascal Siaka, man, like shooting guard or, or like De'Aaron at power forward. Just put in a good lineup, please. <laughs> like, we can actually win this. We can actually win this. I hate being down in, in these games, too, but we got this. All right, Siakam, back at small forward. Okay. Oh, I had that. Crap. Shooting foul? Oh, my gosh. How much can they help y'all? How much can they help y'all? Wow. Y'all, really? We calling that? Please knock that down, Fox. Oh my gosh. Y'all suck. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what to say. You guys are, we're like, we're literally choking away a lead right freaking now. Like, what are you guys doing? If they force a game seven on us, we don't deserve to be here. And it, it's, it's as simple as that. We had them up 3 0. Now it's 3 2, bro. Can y'all finish them now? Like, I don't see what the problem is. Like, I, I just truly do not see what the problem is. All these little close games should not be happening. Now, look, finally a W. Now, let's hop into this game. Let's go through the ceremony. Unless you guys want to find a way to blow a seven-point lead in 24 seconds. But other than that, it looks like we're going to be champions. All right. Uh, hold on to, to the rock. We got this. Got him jumping. <laughs> that was just me having a little bit of fun. But, I mean, we already know that's game, so it don't really matter. It really is incredible. I got a chance to see John Wall early in his career, and it was the speed that we talked about. Why are you guys calling a timeout? Like, <laughs> what's the point of that? It'll be fantastic at creating up. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by six. Oh, my gosh. Fuckers. Nine seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And, and guys, they, they need to go for the quick foul here. It's really the only... Well, that was fun. But we champions. Let's get it. Champions. And how about the road that these guys have been down? And it ends with an NBA championship. A heartfelt congratulations to everyone who's taking part in that celebration right there. Pure joy. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. And, at the, and obviously, we are NBA champions. The finals MVP goes to De'Aaron Fox. He averaged 18 points, 10 assists. And one seal while shooting 52% from the field and 42% from the three. Man, this was incredible. So I did not see us winning a championship this fast, but 
us having depth definitely did help. Our final roster was Andre Drummond, De'Aaron Fox, Marvin Bagley III, Pascal Siakam, Buddy Heald, Anthony Edwards, Charles Bassey, Tony Parker, Kirkus, Luke, Luke Kennard, Moses Brown, Marshawn. I didn't even know. See, this man always just popping up. Like, but did not even know had these guys were on the team. Trey Jones was there. Regardless, they said that we were a contending team. I did not really believe it, believe them, but in the end, we got that chip. So let me know what you guys think about it and who we should rebuild next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.